Grey Phoenix raided a local manufacturer. Looks like some sort of smash and grab. Headquarters wants this handled fast. I'm not sure why. Did we just uncover a conspiracy? No, and you should stop listening to Floyd Tesseract. You should stop monitoring my media preferences. Then stop going on about him. Floyd Tesseract, Time Cube, Zyborn Clock. Four entrances, holy shit. There's three encounters here? Wait, so does this mean there's ten... Sorry, eight. Can't count. Ten... Does this mean there's 19 enemies in this first encounter? Or... What does this mean? Or does it mean that these two are in the same room, I guess? Let, let's look at these places, can we? So we've got... Main door... Okay, so we can even see what's going on. Oh, I think I get it. It's not that this is how many enemies are in the room. This is how many enemies you will see during the breach and thus can see you. Okay, so if you look at it like this... Right, so these are both four because it's basically the same line of sight. This is five, so we can see one more person there. And this is six, so clearly there's someone deeper in the room which we'll see if we're going through the side window. But I think overall it's still... Looks like we've got like probably six to seven enemies in this room, I would guess. Okay. So I wonder if going in, like if Cherub was here, if I could just put him in through here in Phalanx because he can see the most people and then everyone would be safe to go into the other places. That's why, ah, that's why you can order them because they're technically going into the same room. It's the same breach but from different points. That's interesting. Alright, let me do my breach order here then. Okay, so I think this is what I want. We're gonna ignore these two side windows. Um, don't really mind them so much. So we want one unit through here to get the free overwatch. So that's gonna be um, Verge with the free overwatch going through main door. And then what I want to do is I want to stick everyone else through the main door because I want to get this pinpoint successful shots enemies will crit. That's really powerful. Plus the plus three damage during the breach. We can really wipe some people out here. Now why do I still want someone going through the main door over here? To get Overseer, wouldn't I rather have Verge over here, right, for the crit? No, because what I think I'm going to do with Verge is I might use Verge to try and levitate someone, depending on what my shots look like, um, for the, the main door. Uh, so we'll send him through, and it makes him act a bit faster in the, in, earlier in the town as well. So that's why I've set it up here, so the main door will be first, then it will be uh, the other main door. So Verge will act first, he'll levitate someone, uh, and we'll see how it goes, you know? Alright, breach us in. Time to breach. No, it's meant to be Verge first. Oh, it is. It is. I understand how games work. It is. Okay, so we want to find someone who's alert here, like that Adder. Or, ooh, that Legionnaire is quite close to Verge. Don't like that. Um, uh, maybe we should get the Legionnaire... I assume the others will be able to see that Legionnaire, particularly if I levitate him. Or I can do it to the Adder, and we know we can take the Adder. The Adder is in a better position to Berserk as well. And get flashbangs. So we probably want to levitate the Legionnaire. Or do you think he's already flanked, maybe, on the bridge? I can't really see his cover or lack thereof. It looks like he's not in cover from the rightmost breach point anyway. It looks like the adder is. So we probably want to levitate the adder. So we're going to levitate... You. I can just shoot you too, right? 81, 3 to 5. It's... Like, it might even kill you. I would say just levitate them because we know we can probably do something here. Okay, now the, that aggressive legionnaire is in cover, unfortunately. But uh, this adder who was in cover, we can now fuck this person up. What does this do again? Spits a blast of poison on the target during the breach and we remain poised for two turns. That's good because it's going to put poison onto... Oh, it does six damage. What the fuck? What? Holy shit. And it's like guaranteed hit. Whoa. Is this once per breach? No. Are you- are you serious? Wow, Torque is like an amazing breacher. Okay, and then you two just have to get this adder. Got the free crit there, didn't really matter. 
Got ya. That's both the aggressives, right? Nope. I thought I got the ever-aggressive. I guess I got a different Legionnaire. I, I got a, an alert Legionnaire, or? I don't know. I'll go down. The surprise alert aggressive is a really good... Really good way to do the breaching. It's pretty cool. Alright. Normally I'd complain, too, coming into the breach. I'd be like, oh, like, it's not fair. I can't really see, like... You know where they all are in the breach, but I, it's fine because it's part of the narrative, right? It's like you're breaching, you gotta make split decisions, you don't really have perfect information, you just kinda like make decisions based off what you can see. So I actually kinda like the restriction of information there, I think it's cool. For, for now, anyway, we'll see how my opinion on that develops. Yeah, wow, um, unless that's once per mission, Tork is just an insane breacher, like, guaranteed six damage, plus it poisons them if they live. Tork is first in the fucking door, man, she is a fucking nasty little breacher. So, let's get into this. I see an explodey over here. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out the Legionnaire first. I want a stupid Legionnaire. My mind over yours. Double turn stun. Verge is such a fucking beast. Oh my god. All right. And then we can do a Battle Madness, or we can blow up some cover. Uh, we can do a lot of shit here. I mean, Tork can get that Paladin. Tork's probably gonna go for this Paladin. Uh, probably bind him. So then we've got Terminal acting before that Paladin. So we're gonna put some damage onto him, I think. You're stunned. And Blue Blood can go for this Python or something? Um, I think we want to shoot... I think we want to shoot you. I think you want to shoot here. That's good. It'll just be the Python left, I think, to have a go at me. Because the Legionnaire stuns. Now we're going to slide on over here and bind up that little Paladin here. What's he trying to tongue pull? 58. No reason to do that. Just go over and bind. I assume I can I can bind Sectoids. If not, <laughs> I'll be mad. Um... Do you think I have to- do you think I can do it from diagonal? Or do you think I have to walk up to them? I don't really know how to do Viper Binds. I'm not really much of a binder. Um, don't really know how that works. Let's just, like, go over here and give it a try, I guess. I assume you go into the tile that they're in, so I should get cover from doing this, right? So let's give it a go. Needed the exercise. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna bind you up. Talk's really good. Seems to pull them into her tiles, so I gotta figure out if you can do that diagonally next. Oh, such a loving embrace. Cute little sectoid. Great. Having a great time there with your bones cracking. The sectoid's like, why do they add so many bones to me in XCOM 2 just so they could break like this? Now, it's terminal for the finish on the python. So we're gonna heal onto Verge. Gremlin on the way. Refresh. Refreshing. Refresh maker. And then we're going to shoot the paladin. Take him out. Take him out. Fog him up. Take him out. Fog him up. We got 76. Okay, I see how this turn's going to play out. We got 76 here. Hopefully it hits. Solid. Now you're done. Got that 100% success rate finisher here. Very good to have. But don't expect to alpha strike all your enemies on the breach, says the Chimera Squad trailer. Yeah, well, you know what? Don't expect me to listen to your trailer. Alright, so now the Legionnaire is about to go again, which we don't love. We don't want the Legionnaire to go again, but he is going to get to go again. There's nothing we can really do about that. Or he, he, him or her, I'm sorry. Uh, unless I want to pop the ability thing, but I, I don't particularly care about that here, because we're just going to choke out the, the Sector over a few turns while I heal up whatever this Legionnaire does to me, I think. So instead, we'll just kind of come over... And uh, get some flanking going, I guess. Mmm, can't really do that. We'll just bring you over to here. Repositioning. Jump on the meat with your with your no shoes. Uh, we'll take the 81% shot, just lower them a bit. They're gonna do something. Oh! But I forgot, ever vigilant on blue blood. I am a freaking genius. And then just auto kills the sectoid, so we can't darkest dungeon stall. That's smart. Was it smart, or is the game broken now? No, it's smart. Oh, there was a sieve, I didn't even notice. 
That was a clean breach. Nicely done. The director cleared things up. This company has some not so public ties to XCOM proper. Ooh. They make a weapon component for the new interceptors. And I'm still running down the specifics. Ooh. Hmm. Why the secrecy? Security through obscurity. If nobody knows they're making it, nobody can steal it. But Grey Phoenix does know, and they're trying to steal it. Thank you, Blue Blood. Look, I I'm not defending their shoddy security practices. All right, nice. Keep our door. Last unit, so this entrance automatically activates Overwatch after the breach. Security door, secure entrance. Fewer aggressive enemies present at this entrance. So, the skull means at least one of the enemies you're going to breach on is aggressive. I guess green means they're all surprised, or they're all surprised or alert. So we can go in through here, uh, and nobody gets Overwatch, which is cool. Or... We can send Tolkien through here, who's likely to take very little damage from that. Because then we're not going so late in the turn order as well, which is good. So, at the very least, Terminal... Terminal, uh... Virgin Blue Blood in through here. Maybe Tork goes in through here. I think, because Tork can probably wear the Overwatch anyway, and it gets us an extra Overwatch to do more shit to them, which is always good. Maybe we can take out the aggressive guy anyway. And it's good to not have everyone go late in the turn, I think. I think you take less damage this way, overall, because you're alphaing better. So, let's do it. Talk's a pretty tanky lady. Let's do this. Let's go. Breaching now. Open sesame. Yeah, hit him with the E-mag. Aggressive paladin. Oh god, there's two. I've made a huge mistake. So you mean to tell me... Wait, it only does three now. Why did it do six before? Was that a bug? Wait. It did six before. What's happening? Torque's gonna get shot twice. Shit. Why did it do so much before? Anyway, do it to the Legionnaire. Either way. Lower his aim. Oh, we're coming up in upstairs on the catwalk. Yeah, I should just put everyone up here. We got 95s in the aggressive paladin, so we're gonna drop him. Nice job. Yeah, I want him dead. Breaching mode is so cool. Alright, and go for the python again. Alright. Nice miss because of the poison. Talks a badass. She doesn't give a shit. Talk will go the fuck in on you. Alright, that puts t Talk first in the timeline. I'm ready for him. So I think even though splitting up to different spots does. Uh, does make you go earlier in the initiative order. Maybe not as much as I thought in, like, splitting up your team makes them go sooner, because... Because you're still going second in the order. It's not simultaneous, so... It's not the hostage taker. Oh. Oh, they... I was asking this, wasn't I? I was gonna say, oh, they're gonna take hostages? Hmm. That sectoid wants to jump over and take this poor lady hostage. What is this? How can we upgrade... Factory efficiency? <laughs> okay. So, this is a hell of a room to walk into, I think, looking at it. This would be a good room to do some flashbanging, I think. Maybe on these two, if we can get both. Yes, these two would probably be good to flashbang. They're gonna, I think, survive pretty long. Um, we can hope to maybe grab these two. This might even be time to use my team-up encounter, I think, on the adder. Blue blood can kill the adder. So we're gonna flashbang. Blinding hostiles. Stop that hostage from being taken. I'm kind of curious, do you just lose if they take the hostage, or do you have to do like a, like a take the shot thing at that point? You know, it's interesting. So I can come over here and I can, oh yeah, team up blue blood. I love this game, man, this is really interesting. Team up blue blood to kill the adder, I think I can get the adder pretty, pretty tight. Uh, and then we're gonna come over here and probably, I don't think we can bind the legionnaire, but we can shoot the legionnaire. Uh, and then you're not flanked because of the, because of the full cover there, so yeah, we're going in. 
Oh, you can bind a legionnaire. Fucking sick. All right, yeah, yeah, do it up, do it up, do it up. Because otherwise you might fail to kill them because of the armor. Oh, wait, poison, though. Does poison go in... Does poison happen before or after they get to take their turn, I wonder? Let's not find out. Let's let's not find out right now. Let's just bind. So wait, does Legionnaire have cover or not in that shit? Does Legionnaire have cover or not? What tile am I in? Both? So, there's, so does she have cover or not? I guess you're about to find out. Alright, meanwhile, Blue Blood is gonna try to kill this adder. Need both shots to hit. In this instance. Blat, blat. Good shooting. Well, she should go back to cover now. Yep, nice. Um, terminal. What's the height advantage in this game? 20, so it's pretty huge. Pretty huge. I'm used to a disoriented, so we want... And then Verge can... Okay, yeah. So we want to kill the python. May as well put safeguard on someone. Is Verge going to be flanked there? I don't think they'll be able to see him. I'll, I'll bet on it anyway. So we're going to give a safeguard to... Oh, I can give it to the lady just in case. That's kind of cute. Alright, yeah, just in case. Give it to the... the, the not the hostage, the civilian. That's cute. I like that. I'm going to finish you off. Nice job. Nice job. Now I want to stupor this adder. That's my next move. So I gotta move over here to do that. Stupor. Your mind falls away. Only stunned one, but maybe they'll waste it on moving. Who knows? They did. Good. Oh, they can like... I'm immune to poison though, you moron. Man, how do I get that for a talk? That's what I want. Oh! They're not taking a hostage, they're killing someone! Shit! Oh my god, save that lady, she's almost dead! That's fucked up! I'm not about that shit at all. How are we going to do this? I'm going to bind the Legionnaire or the Paladin up because they're the stronger of this units here. Paladin's in half cover, so we can probably kill him with blue blood. We need to do something to his ass. We can probably stupor the Legionnaire. No, nah, that's not a good idea. Um, Okay. If I just go to here and bind the Legionnaire. Fuck it. Just give it a try. So we're going to bind the Legionnaire. Just disable them. Apparently you can uh, bind these guys, which is cool. Don't struggle. Yeah, don't struggle. Don't struggle, Big Muton. I wonder if I can get this lady out of here if I run down. Um, first, we're gonna do some shooting, so I wanna try to kill the Paladin, like I said, I think. I'm gonna try and shoot your ass. Good shot. I think you have the Deadeye. I think you need a Deadeye Jedi here. What's the dead eye? 77. Ah, just just take it. Fuck. That kinda ruins everything. I can move down to here and flank. What's you got? 79. On three to five. I would say heal the lady. And then shoot him normally. Yeah, I would heal the lady and then I would just shoot him normally. He'll be fine. Heal her up. Take the shot. Oh man, no, we have to stop him. Fuck. That woman's gonna die! Shit! Shit! Fuck! Stupor! Stupor! Bird, save that hostage! How many turns? How many turns? How many turns? Oh no! Verge, take the shot! Verge, no! No, damn it! Oh, please shoot Talk instead. Leave that poor woman alone. No! She's 
She's okay. She's okay. She's okay. We're, we're heal tanking this poor woman. She's okay, everyone. Okay, that he, he's dead now. Yeah, hostage taker. More like hostage killer. So we're just going to bind the legionnaire again. Because that kind of works. Are you in cover there? Yeah, you are. Can I pull you out of cover like this? Hang on. Ooh, or... Hang on. Blue blood, come to me. Let's not make this a thing. Uh, thanks for the lift. I gotta think with portals. Just go to sleep. Oh, that activates his ever vigilant. What the fuck? Oh, but then it goes away. But it's it's movement for him technically. That's such an interesting interaction. Wowie, that's that's very interesting. That's uh, very cool. All right, subdue. Down and out. Okay, terminal for the torque heal, and then we're gonna finish off the paladin. Heal torque. Let the high tech spray do its work. Nobody asked for your help. Oh, fucking tell him, torque. Fucking tell him. Uh, arrest. Arrest time. There you go. Get out of here, ma'am. Go to the medics. You're on one health again. Lucky it was any other gun. If it was the Muton, that lady would have died twice. Whew. All right, we learned something about hostages. I found out what Grey Phoenix stole. It's a power converter. Military grade. From Toshi Station. Interesting. And alarming. All right, pretty clean. I mean, except for the hostage. <laughs> pretty, pretty clean. Uh, all right. Keypad door, and again, high ground. Keep rolling that security door. What do we got? Seal the deal. Last unit's just entrance does three damage and pinpoints. Successful shots crit. Or, all oh, units entering here get 25 aim during the breach. Nerf your aggressive enemies. I mean, the damage and the crit is good, but I think I'm going to go all high ground this time. Um, we're just going to go in, I think. Yeah, I, I really think so. Let's go, go, go. It's go time. That high ground security door. Okay, they're all alert from where we see them, which means there's more enemies, I think. Or maybe it's the same enemies, but they're not aggressive to you on the high ground. I don't know. Okay, so what do we got? They're all alert. They're all alert. We want to try and kill whoever we can here. What was that? Dominator. Oh, it's another type of sectoid. I imagine if the Paladin sector focuses on buffing their friends, the Dominator is going to try to MC me. I don't like the sound of that. I kind of want to shoot them. You know? That, that sounds bad. I don't think we want that. Let's, let's try and deal with them. Uh, it's, like, it's like when you run into a gatekeeper. I don't want to find out what that means, you know? Lancer shots. Uh, that won't be enough damage, I don't think. So we'll use you on someone else, I think. Toxic greeting. Alright, so we'll give you a toxic greeting. Yeah, it's it's three damage again. Weird. Still a really good breacher, but like, not six damage good. Alright, so I assume the Dominator's gonna die as soon as they get their turns. That's fine. So we can finish off the Adder now instead. So it's three damage and change. Now watch out, we're quite flanked there on the right. Not my favorite scatter feed there, Verge. Alright, they're all alert. Which makes sense deeper into the breach. They hear That's it coming. They're after. Grab it and get out. Okay. Sure. Um, so that legionnaire is going next. Don't love that. Don't love that. Uh, Verge is very exposed to that. This is a problem with terminal having the card. You don't want to breach in. You want to go in later. Probably want to put the heal. Uh, I mean, the safeguard drone on verge preemptively, uh, and then get to shooting or whatevering. Yeah, shoot that fuck. Let's get your insides back inside. 
Thank you. Run tat 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 tat. Don't love this uh Don't love the flank I'm on here on the side. Not great. Yuck, because now they're gonna go for terminal. The terminal's tough, so hopefully she can tank a bit. Adder is gonna come up, okay. Fuck you. Eat shit. Okay, let's finish some people off. Leave that legionnaire for the moment, we're gonna stupor him or something. I think our next best target is probably this paladin. Alright, and failing that, which, you know, is literally what we just did. Now we can finish off the adder. Well, we're gonna stupor down here and then subdue the adder with verge. So... Or the legionnaire could berserk down here on the paladin, that's probably better. Probably just drop this adder instead. It's not all about arrests, kids. Reinforcements are probably gonna start coming. Talk's gonna get down there and get up close and personal, so we will get into the objective. Oi! 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 What the fuck? Terminal's in a lot of trouble. Need to take the heat off this lady. I really hope the poison does its work before he gets a turn, or else Terminal might get shot really bad. Right, so we're gonna go down here and we're gonna bind the paladin, I think. We're gonna get in there, we're gonna draw some heat. Haha, <laughs> that's such a cool jump animation. This game is, like, really cool. Now I see where the Vipers always do it the minutes come too. Yep. Goes before their turn. That's great. Now it must be Verge's turn. Verge. Save friend. Stun Give Legionnaire. Yes! Two turns. Exactly what we want. So I'm gonna get to go again before that Legionnaire gets to go again. So I can just sit up here and do whatever the fuck I want. I feel like Battle Madness might make it shoot a sieve. I don't want that. So I wanna, like, shoot at you instead. Verge is such a sharpshooter. He's so strong. Great shot there of Verge and Terminal kissing. Great, great frame. Woo! You a lucky girl, Terminal. You a lucky girl. Yeah, here come those reinforcements. We gotta get the thing. Coming in from- ooh, right behind me. Okay, so they're gonna get to go again, then I'll get to go before they get to go again. So we're good to sit here for a second and finish off someone? Shots are really good here. Shots on chumps is really good. Probably go for Legionnaire. Yeah, good. Okay, it's Blue Blood's time to shine. As I said before, my squad is not super dynamic. Very sit still squad. Blue Blood's gonna get flanked here if they sit here, I just realized. You can go in and flank that Paladin, might be wisdom. Probably not gonna finish off the Legionnaire as well. So why don't you move down here and uh, drop the Paladin. Rolling out. D -d 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 drop the Paladin, gets you out of the Muton flank as well. Though it might get you flanked by the other Muton, actually. Good job. Oh, not a bad time for hair trigger, honestly. Not a terrible time for it. Maybe just move back to here for the moment and get that free Overwatch and also be in cover from being angle. flanked by this muton. Moving over there. And the Legion is gonna do something it's gonna regret, or I'm gonna regret it doing. Oh, so close to dead, but it's gonna get to shoot me again. Good, good, do that, that's useless. Awesome. Just what I needed. Turk, continue to sustain the binds. Break the bones. We love to break the bones. Now, Verge should be an insane shot right now. You guys gonna need to get off because the Legion is about to hit you, though. Where do I evac to once I get the thing? Why don't we find out? Let's get the objective. Moving. Quickly. I learned from Mark Norder's XCOM that you should not fuck around with reinforcements, so let's get the thing. 
the Starship Power Converter. Now, where do we evac to? Smash and grab, right? Okay, cool. I'm all about it, team. Um, let's finish off the Legionnaire, can we? Maybe. Maybe. Give him a go. Well done. No more masters. Ow. So I think I might want to start evacuing here. Running low. Like, you're a problem right now, Blue Blood. You're going to go down. That's going to be a problem. So, let's just get you out. As long as we can get Terminal out, it's all good. That's reassuring. If they move, I'll shoot. Over here. Ah, oh, badge! Not poisoned. Perfect. Oh, you're going to get shot by the fucking... Muton, though. Oh, God. And if I let go of the Paladin, you're going to get Verge too. Nothing good is happening here. Uh, shit, man. Hmm, it's like a kind of a... Well, the Paladin will probably mentally buff someone, you'd hope. So if I get rid of the Muton, I think it's better. Get away from me. Yeah, get away from me, you piece of shit. It's gonna be hard for Torque to get out though. It's already hard for it to get out. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Might have to just do that. Okay, please survive, Verge. Moving quickly. We need survival. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. All right, hang in there, Verge. Vergy Verge, my little virgin. Yes, tank, tank, torque, torque, tank. Ow, that's not tanking, torque. Now torque's in a lot of trouble. Oh, my sweeties are in trouble. All my sweeties are in trouble right now. You gotta get out though, because you're dying. On the way. This is the problem of this. Biped showing up. <laughs> this interleaved turns shit, man. It's so hard to evac with interleaved turns. Like that now there's an adder. Like talk's fucked. I can cover it. Talk is fucked, man. It's so hard to get everyone out at the same time without them just getting murdered by everyone else. Oh man, like what do I do? What do I do here? Either Terminal goes down or Torque does. I mean, I'm definitely gonna lose the mission if I leave Torque. Torque will go down to this damn adder that just walked in, if not that one. So I gotta heal. I feel like I gotta heal Torque. But then Terminal's gonna go down, so it feels like a no-win situation. I, I'm probably gonna end up having to restart it. Need a little help? Maybe on missions with Keep that robot away from me. reinforcement, I have to save the team up for times like this. Covering ground. Oh no, please. You did this. Uh oh. Dodge torque, dodge like a maniac. Ah! I knew. I knew. So Terminal will have to live through... Terminal's not gonna live, like... She's just not gonna live. She's not gonna make it. So if I leave... Terminal's just fucked. So yeah, like, I, I can't get everyone out. I must have to wait until Terminal goes down and then stabilize her and get out. Like, this is... This seems like a no-win for me. Because Terminal will go down to all these shots. There's not really anything I can do about that. Um, 
Yeah, there, there, there just isn't. There just isn't anything I can do about that. If I hunker, I'm gonna get killed by these guys. Like, their next turn is earlier in the timeline. Okay, so maybe this is the key. So then you're going before eight and seven. Maybe this was the key. I gotta learn how to use preparation and hunker. So we have to weather two, three, four, and five still. Two, three, four, and five. Oof, I mean, I I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's gonna work, man. Uh, shit. I, I, it's like all I got, though, I think. I gotta, like, go to here. Terminal goes down. And then I get her out. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know. Just try it. If I have to restart the mission, I have to restart the mission. We'll see. This is, this is, oh, well, yep, yep, yep. Don't love it, don't love it. No Didn't do anything. Okay, good. Do love it, do love it. Ah! Okay, good, good, good. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Oh god, oh god. Holy shit! Talk! Talk! One more, one more. One more to make it out of here, Camara Squad. Holy shit, holy shit. Okay. Now just terminal. Oh my god, can I pull terminal out? Is terminal gonna die to the poison? Can poison roll three? Then I just lose and I won't be able to do anything about it. That'd be no good. Um, can't really know, can you? I think poison's at the end of the turn for XCOM units, so I should be alright. Slithering. Is Torque just a beast again? Hang on, pull... Pull Terminal out as well. Ha! <laughs> oh, can I, can I do her on this turn? Oh! Wow! Torque! Holy shit! Oh my god. She's so insane! That was like a no-win situation. That was a Kobayashi, right? Until Torque was just like, I'll just like... Because in Vanilla XCOM 2, and I guess it works the same in this, Hunker doesn't get cancelled if they get around your cover. So you can just Hunker, and even when you're flanked, you got the plus 30 defense and the plus dodge. Which stacks no dodge, you got 100% dodge anyway, so... Wow, Talk is just like a smooth fucking operator. And she pulled Terminal to the evac, which I don't even know, that's just amazing. Talk is fucking strong. She is so skilled. She is so, such a good operator. Very fucking nice. Cherub is back as well. Good. 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 Great job. No arms dealer is willing to risk a deal with Grey Phoenix. Not with Chimera Squad in town. What's this? Choose next operation. Disrupt their leadership. As you've experienced, Grey Phoenix is surprisingly coordinated and disciplined. Discover what keeps them bound together. Or stop alien abductions. Recent spate of alien abductions. Find out what Grey Phoenix wants these aliens. We need to get them, need to get them home. Oh! Alien abductions! <laughs> right. Well, they're trying to get more recruits, maybe, or something. Grey Phoenix has the supplies to arm and equip Praetorians. Grey Phoenix feels bold enough to use civilian hostages as pawns in their plans. Hmm. Probably stop the alien abductions. I feel like that's the way to go. Just roleplay-wise as well. Let's go for that. Need to save those aliens. Need to get them home. Alright, keep it going. That was cool. That was, a. Uh... Over a dozen Oof. were injured today before 3-1 PD could break up protesters clashing outside the starport. Commissioner Maloof condemned the fighting. Of course protesters should speak their minds. We won a war for that privilege. But 3-1 PD will not tolerate violent protest. Artisan Glorva of the Shipworkers League issued a statement. We follow your rules, and yet only mutons were injured today. 
331 PD can or will not protect us. We will protect ourselves. Fair. This is Celio Dash for Channel 37. Honestly, fair. Sometimes you gotta punch a Nazi. I mean, punch a Earth above all representative. All right. Cherub's back at it. We've connected Gray Phoenix to a recent spate of alien abductions in City 31. Find out why Gray Phoenix wants these aliens. We need to get them home. Anarchy. Chimera Squad. The City Council asked me to contact you directly about a sensitive matter. The simple fact is that 3-1 PD is unequipped to deal with certain emergency situations. We've hired mercenaries in the past, but the results have been adequate at best. Mayor Nightingale assured us you were here to protect City 31 from harm. So prove it. I want you on call for emergencies that require your unique skill set. The City Council will be watching. You want to use me for what? Unrest in this district has reached a boiling point. Unknown hostiles are openly fighting in the streets. We must intervene as soon as possible to restore civil order. Ooh, I would not be deploying Chimera Squad to put down a... <laughs> what is this? Like a riot? Like a, like a race war? What's happening? It's just like mutons and hybrids and humans and sectoids running past the window like, Hey, Glover, are you coming to Angler's Point for the race war? What's that? This is race war. Race war's going on. No, I, I, I'm busy. Race war, race war, Glover, come on. Come on, we're going to the race war. Uh, we'll see about that. Um, well, it's due of that with a warehouse fire. So, I don't know. <laughs> Both good options, honestly. Alright, well... Anybody get promoed off that, by the way? Oh yeah, I really just said that I should be putting someone in here. Like, you can- I think I can assembly stuff faster. Yeah, shit, if I put someone in here. I didn't realize that. Um, anyway, yeah, was there- was there a promo? No promos. Verge has got injured again. Blunted. Crit chance reduced by 15. That's fine. I don't care about that. You can smoke as many blunts as you want, Verge. You- you earn that right. Do- do what you want. Alright, so, I got credits too, so I can buy some more good shit. Now you know exactly what I'm buying here. Uh, sorry, not- hang on, not this. Um, yeah, that assembly trick, by the way, I learned it in- I accidentally clicked on the XCOM handbook. Commander Beegs, where'd you learn that as a liaison for Chimera Squad? Oh, I, I accidentally looked at the police handbook. Huge mistake. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I want to buy uh, more of the Markweave, because that shit... Ho ho! OP! Need that shit. Need all that shit. Yum yum. I can buy two of them! Oh my god! Look the fuck out! Everyone in my squad but one has Markweave now. Oh! OP! OP! So I don't need to, to... to deal with that with... I don't really care about that on Verge, that's fine. Especially on Verge. The crit. So I'll train someone else for something else, I think. So who are we not taking on this mission? Uh, what's the mission? Just like stopping hostiles fighting in the, st the streets, I think. Anarchy. Intervene as soon as possible to restore public order. Yeah, um... I feel like a riot shield's always good for that. Uh, maybe, maybe toss blue blood out. Torque's like MVP now. Torque has to come. Verge has to come. So maybe Verge, Torque, Cherub and terminal because terminal has to come the these these three are just too strong to not bring blue bread kind of brings the damage then so bringing cherub kind of takes some of the damage away which is a problem maybe i should keep blue blood instead of cherub cherub's really useful for people like not dying though it depends it's like reinforcements on missions where there's lots of reinforcements Having not enough damage is fatal. Like, that's where you need, like, a blue blood or something, I think, to deal with all the reinforcements. But then, on missions where there aren't many reinforcements, Cherub is fine. I feel like if we're going down here to stop Anarchy, to stop the race war, uh, then we probably don't need reinforcements. I mean, I'm probably not going to be reinforcements, so we can probably swap blue blood for Cherub. Uh, and that means blue blood can get in some important training he's been missing out on. Again. Put him through his paces. We go to the city map. Oh, I want more people. I want more people. And we're gonna go right here. We send the APC. We are not the police. If you see a theft, call it into 31 PD and move on. But there is one notable exception. Hostile forces carrying dangerous contraband may attempt to flee the scene. Don't let them escape. 
All right, buddy -o. Three encounters at window, security door, and door. All right. I want someone other than Terminal to be able to breach those security doors. Um, who do we want to send for that? Chirp? Chirp? No, I want Chirp to be able to go through the non-security door. Uh, so maybe give... Not talk. Maybe Verge. Maybe give Verge the security keycard. Verge. Who has already got a breach in charge? I just realized shit. Verge, um... Give Cherub a breach in charge. Now, what else are we doing here? You're a tank, so Mark is good for you. You are too important to go down, so Mark is good for you. Okay, I did it. I did it. I'm done. Can we give hair triggers around? Yes, because Bluebird's on the mission. So we'll give the hair trigger to... No one here shoots twice, but the next best thing is to give it to whoever's going to be shooting the most. That's probably Verge, who has the best aim of the neural network. Alright, we've got the flashbang still. I love how quick the loadouts are without sacrificing, like, cool options. Let's go, go, go. 